What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I am finally back from Las Vegas. But it's interesting because I didn't tell anyone on this channel at least that I was going. But if you follow me on Twitter, you probably caught wind of it at some point. The trip was amazing. Not only did I have a great time and was able to de-stress, but it also helped me to figure out a lot of personal issues that I've been having lately. Personal to the point where I haven't even talked to you guys about them. That's how personal they are. And you know me. Usually my shit is an open book on this channel, but for these issues, they they needed to be figured out on a more to myself basis, um, just close people around me. And thankfully they were all figured out. So I am coming back from this trip feeling better than I have in a long time. Your boy's finally ready. I posted that video earlier where I was at the Twitch party in Las Vegas and the shit was just as insane as it seemed. There are so many things that I wish I could have shown you guys in Vegas, but you all know the saying, what happens in Vegas stays the fuck in Vegas. And good Lord almighty, I know damn well there's a lot of stories I wouldn't be able to tell you guys here on camera, but Vegas was a trip. So many insane things happened. At one point, I was even in a fucking car accident. That's how crazy the trip was overall. And I was there with uh, Cabana Monte 456, my friend, John Carlo Paramango 11 and Max Ezzy, who's somebody that I did meet before, but I never got a chance to really hang out with him in full until this trip. And all together, we had a crazy time. So many Smash heads. But the only thing that I kind of regret is that I didn't really get to hang out with as many Smash people as I wanted to. So next time, definitely going to carve out some room to hang out with the Smash Brothers people. But I did meet up with Alpha Rad and um, uh, uh, Inferno Omni as well. And if you followed me on Twitter, you would have seen all this as I was taking the pictures with the guys, I was uploading them. So cool stuff overall. And I come back from Vegas with a cleared mind and ready to get back to business. It's been quite a while since we had things somewhat consistent on this channel. I know shit, I already know like what half of the comments are going to be saying. And trust me, I hear you guys entirely. But from this point forward, we are going to be basically uh, filling things out. We're going to see what the hell is going to be the deal. But I just wanted to let you guys know that your boy is back and I'm in one piece. Granted, I feel like my liver probably is not going to last me as long now that I've had this trip. I'm probably going to lose my liver around the age of 50, but it's okay. A small sacrifice to be made for one of the most unforgettable moments of my life. Now, you dudes already know what the deal is when it comes to the crazy shit with Yuga and the, 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 the fucked up shit that happened during the Evo trip. And if you didn't know, by the way, I'm in, I was in Vegas because of Evo, which was, <laughs> I kept talking about Vegas, like, oh yeah, Vegas was so hot, but why the fuck were you in Vegas? Like, I was in Vegas because Evo 2016, an amazing conclusion, congratulations to the winners of the tournaments, and on top of it all, we had some crazy shit pop off with like sexual predators and stuff, it, it, it was wild, man. But I'm really happy about the way the Smash community handled it. And uh, let's just say Yuga's in a fucking box right now. So RIP to that nigga. It's too bad you had to make such a stupid decision with people watching you on top of it all. But we, I don't, I don't have any tolerance for any sexual predator kind of bullshit like that. So you know what? Good riddance to a fucked up nigga. But guys... I will be seeing you dudes later. Just wanted to make a quick update video, le video, letting you niggas know exactly what the deal is, man. We out here, we back in business, and your boy's back home in one piece. Granted, maybe my kidneys won't work as efficiently now, but you know what? You don't need kidneys to make videos, right? So we're good money. I'll talk to you guys later on. A couple of things that I wanted to cover, and I know the mod um, showcase videos are requested as well, so trust me. Even though I haven't done any updates to those in a while, they're going to get done eventually. That's all I can say. I'll see you dudes in a little bit. Alright? Alright!